Audrey reporting for duty as your copy kia. Learned a lot, had some difficult customers, but nothing worse than the corporate clients I had to deal with. That's my satay mirabel sauce. Why can't you all just show some respect? <laughs> Mr. Vincent Wong, we'd like to talk. One to eight circle hawker. Vincent is some ex-con that showed up out of nowhere recently. I think it's best if you just take your stuff and go our separate ways from now on. Go to hell. We are hereby placing you under arrest under suspicion of the destruction of public and private property. Sir, I told you already, I didn't Mr. do it. Mr Wong, we've been here the whole you morning keep asking the same I'm going to give you a chance to come clean thing. before it's too late. I didn't do it. I didn't vandalize the bubble tea store. I'm a convenience scapegoat, right? Huh? Ex-com, bad temper. No one to miss me if so I... Please, take a look at this. Tell me again. What time did you leave the hawker centre that night? Just before midnight. Closed my brother's store and went back home. That's it. 128 Circles Management told us that your store closes at 10pm. Why did you only leave at 11? Sir, never run a hawker store before, right? After the last order, still had to clean up, still had to do accounts. And you went home and stayed there for the rest of the night, correct? The CCTV for your role, row 6, is down. But this is the footage from row 5. That's you, isn't it? Coming back to 128 Circle after midnight and crossing row 5 to get to your role. And the bubble tea store. Okay. I forgot my phone in the store. Ah, so now you did come back. At around the same time the store was vandalized some more. No, 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 no. When I went back to get my phone, everything was still normal, I swear. But Mr. Wong, we just caught you in a lie. And now you expect us to believe some flimsy excuse? You're in a lot of trouble. The only way to save yourself now is to confess. Non-stop the whole day. Thought you might be hungry. I've not eaten at all today. You ready to open already? Not even close. But I'm losing so much money for every day that I'm not open. Yeah, still, it's amazing how much work you got done. If it was me, I think I'll still be sitting here moping. Okay la, if I'm being honest, I did do my fair share of moping. But at the same time, I was channeling Popo. Well, I'm sure your Popo would have had words of wisdom to inspire you. Nah, she would have taken that mop, whacked me in the head, and told me, Hey, Shasha, the floor's so dirty, you don't want to clean. So I did what she would have done. I took the mop, I didn't whack myself in the head. But I started cleaning, and cleaning, and cleaning, and cleaning. And now we're here. Yeah. Look, um, I just want to say... You don't have to apologize. You didn't vandalize the store. And if I'm being 100% honest, I don't think Vincent did either. 
what? When I was accusing him, he looked so confused, genuinely confused. And Vincent is an angry man. He's not stupid. He's not going to trash my store the same day I argue with him. That would make him the prime suspect. It doesn't make sense. But if it's not him, then who? I don't know. I guess it's the mystery of one to eight circle. I don't know. I, I, I just... Hello? Anyone here? Here you go, customer. Sorry. Hi. Uncle Larry, mm -hmm. what are you doing? Account la. You got your book, I also got my book. This is how you record your earnings? Hmm? But, but how? I can I cannot make head or tails of the system. Very simple. If one day I use up one tin of coffee powder, that means break even. Like today, I use up two tin of... Wait, wait. That's your system? You mean to say in 40 years, you've never known exactly how much you're making? Of course, I know. Like today, I use up two tin of coffee powder. That means I already make the profit. <sighs> Uncle Larry, from now on, you are not going to calculate your profit in terms of coffee powder tins anymore. Tomorrow, I will bring my laptop and then I will teach you and Auntie Carol how to use it. No, 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 no. Don't worry, Uncle Larry. No, that is too troublesome. Hey, you ask him to help you, then you let him help you. Hey, he uses a computer. I don't know. Don't worry, Uncle Larry. It will be fine. Look, I don't want to be fine. Fine is fine. Uncle Larry, you're not going to be fine. You're not going to be fine. Stunning, stunning performance. My one to eight circle management. Y'all really threw a party and no one came. I mean, it's not like a nepo baby or whatever. Hi, Dede. You come alone, ah, boy. Yeah. I want you out to my sister's class. Grand reopening, right? Got a discount? Okay, uh, this one is the flyer. You got the voucher or not? I need, I need to see your voucher. Oh, but my friend only gave me this. Actually, you know what, boy? Surprise! Congrats! Because you're the first customer since our grand reopening, you get buy one, get two free, no? Huh? Really? Are you doubting me? The president of Shasha Cha? The boss? The CEO? No problem. I go make for you now. What's up? Are you coming? Are you coming to the house? They are going to go to the house. But they are going to go to the house. But they are going to go to the house. That's why they are going to go to the house. They are going to go to the house. Sorry, uncle. Why are you saying sorry? Come on. But they are going to go to the house. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Marubi is coming. Thank you. I know, okay? I know. What do you know? I haven't even said anything. I already know what you're going to say. If you know then, why do you increase the prices and charge for the extra portion? Pa, does the survival of this store matter to you? Of course. But do you know what matters to the survival of the store? Customers. But how are we going to survive when the customers are not willing to pay for your price?
while we are losing customers, she has one to eight management to support her with promotions. <laughs> These new hawkers are having it easy, man, I tell you. Pa, I think having your stall vandalized is the opposite of having it easy. The management can do more to help us all. Why? Still my kuah recipe? Not enough. Ah? Must come back here and see what else you can take. Firstly, we didn't take anything from you, Kak. I didn't tell Rafiq about your satay mirabos recipe because I couldn't have. You never tell me about your recipe. Rafiq came up with it purely by accident. <laughs> by accident. You know what? I came here in good faith. Rafiq tweaked his recipe for his noodles so that it doesn't taste like your kuah anymore. It's still quite good though. Try it. It still doesn't change the fact that you both sell mirabos right next door to me. Curi aku punya business. Curi aku punya duit. Asyik ya, Kak. I lost more than $400. Oh my God, can we move on from that? that? I had to use my own savings to pay for this store rental. Do you even think if that there are people that you know that could have taken your money? Like who? Chandra? Rani? Huh? Or Ethan? Eh? You said so yourself, right? That Ryan was here that morning? Yeah, he had earlier jobs. And then he came to see me. Ah, That means he arrived here before you. Are you accusing Ryan? Or being the thief? I mean, I'm just saying. He's always here at 128 Circle, going from stall to stall, fixing things. I mean, I'm just stating facts, Kak. Whatever conclusion that you want to derive to is entirely up to you. Enjoy. Anda bersama DJ Iman sekali lagi dalam rancangan Di Larut Malam Di mana kita mendengar akan kisah keluhan dari pendengar-pendengar kita Talian kami dibuka sekarang Hubungi saya 51252929 Dan beritahu saya apa yang ada dalam minda anda Or being the thief? I mean, I'm just saying. He's always here at 128 Circle, going from stall to stall, fixing things. Hello? Ini dilarut malam ke? Hai. Bye. 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 Abang ke? Hi. Hi, I thought we could try this again. I'm Lee Rafik. Hey. Ethan. Um, your name is really Lee Rafik. <laughs> no. I was born Mama Rafi bin Rashid Ali. Lee Rafik is a combination of names of two people I idolize. Chef Susur Lee and my mother, Rafika. Nice. They should be flattered. Oh, 
my mother, she was the glue to help the family together. Even when my father was... Unfortunately, she left us when I was at the lowest point of my life. I'm, I'm sorry to hear. Yeah. Thanks. But I'm sure if your mother was still around, she would be proud to see that you have moved on. I have moved on. But I'm not sure if everyone else has moved on along with me. Let's just say the influencer that day, she called me on a really bad day. And she asked about my uh, past. Well, some people can change. Everyone can change. You're here to talk to me about Vincent. Oh, no. Okay, look, I didn't. But I've been watching on the sidelines. I know what it feels like to be written off because of your past. To be judged even before anything has been proven. It was nice meeting you. Right. What? You better tell me. What have you done to the real Aisha? Apa? Eh, engkau tak pernah nak kongsi masalah kau dengan kawan baik engkau ni daripada zaman sekolah tau. Kau boleh telefon radio station bercakap dengan DJ dengan separuh Singapura tentang kisah kehidupan kau. Eh, kau jangan over lah. Tapi, aku pun tak tahu kenapa aku buat macam tu eh. Maybe I was feeling guilty. Guilty? Hmm. Guilty lah. Pasal Filza. I accuse her of being a thief. Lepas tu, Ryan, Sofia. Look at my stall. Look at my life. What would Halim say if he was around? Halim would say, after all these years, Still hanging out with that idiot Nurul? Really? We never liked each other. Kau lupa ke? I think you're feeling guilty about moving on. But you have to move on. Look at Larry. Look at me. Thank you, eh, for coming over. Kalau selalu macam ni kan, Bess? Boleh aja. Kalau aku datang balik kerja kat kedai. Kau nak balik kerja kat kedai? Kau kan dah tak ada pembantu. Dan kau belum dapat pembantu lagi, kan? Obviously, I cannot trust you to take care of our earnings. Eh. eh. Anyway, it's my course reading period now. So, no classes for three weeks. Ni kau nak tak? Atau aku nak kena telefon PJ Aiman. Hey. Aduh, sakitlah. Pada muka. I haven't seen you on the laptop for a while. I haven't needed to until today. Wait. Are you supposed to even be looking at this? Why? The store accounts are confidential. You don't know how much other stores are making. I'm the operation manager, right? Technically, I'm your boss. Okay, this is weird. Are you happy I went to this circle? Yeah. Why? You're not.
Avisha shouldn't have gone behind your back. It's not just her. It's Mr. Taoyong. He cut our budget, cut our pay, increased the rent. And you want to chase away all the old store. And I have to be the bad guy to do it. You want to quit? I want so cannot, right? I'm sure we can work something. Where else can I go to get that kind of pay? And you only earning good enough pay. Ikai. Sorry. I'm tired. Can we just... I need to wake up early tomorrow. I mean, who the hell does Lee Rafik think he is? Trained in hotel management and culinary arts at the Food Institute of Singapore. Sous chef to Michelin star chef Toronto Tang. First at Downey Road Hotel and then at Chancellor House until he was charged for accepting bribes from suppliers and subsequently cancelled on the internet. I did some research after you told me about him. Of course you did. Maybe he knows what he's talking about. He's been through it before. He doesn't know Vincent. You don't know Vincent. So tell me. My pa had a bad temper. He used to beat Vincent up all the time. And by the time I was born, his health had gotten worse. He wasn't as strong as before. So I... I... I escaped. So Vincent beat me. To give me a taste, he once said. There was one time, he broke my right arm by accident. He never even said sorry. And two months after that incident, we fought, and he broke my left arm. He never said sorry the second time either. He laughed. And said at least now it's balanced. We can see each other again in person, so we can not hold hands together. Yes. And I was looking for a place to hide, and I found a space here in your life. You should go. Kitchen service should be starting for you soon. Okay. Shadow, I'm with you now, and we're What the hell? 
எல்லாத்தையும் இப்படி எல்லாத்தையும் தூக்கி போட்டாங்க Mr. Wong. Got anything to say? So this is the situation. If you don't give us anything by this afternoon, I'm going to have to hand you over to HQ. And HQ is not as nice as us. But you already know that since you met them before. Sir, what do you want from me? The truth. The truth is... I've got a very bad temper. I've made a lot of mistakes. I beat people up. And I hurt my family. So the truth is, I'm not a good person. I'm an ex-con. But I didn't vandalize the store. Yeah, what is it? Make yourself available for further questioning if necessary. Please follow Corporal Teo to the front office for your opera. Oh, and thanks for your cooperation. Nervous, Ngao? Who are you, Ne? What did you do to the real Nurul? She's the most shameless person I know. But sekarang, kau shy? It's just, I haven't seen Larry since the operation. Then there are all these new hawkers. But it's okay. It's okay. Nurul will make an entrance. We will make an entrance. Because we are the Mirabos sisters. Eh, hey, 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 Eh, hey, Nuru, you come back. Eh, hey, Kak Nuru. Eh, hey, hi Ethan. Wow, European weather is good for your complexion, ah. Very nice. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> eh, hey, Alicia, right? Welcome back, Kak Nuru. <laughs> mm, I hope my friends haven't been bullying you, ah. Well, I don't have. All's chill. Hey, Larry, you're very sombong, huh? You never replied any of my texts. 
I send you so many gifts also, you know? Mm. You also very sombong one. He never come to my store and take my coffee. Glad to see you too, Larry. You want to take my coffee? Actually, Nurul came back to work. Huh? Come back here to work? What to do? Eh, hey, Rani! Eh, hey, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Already informed Dika and he said the police will come down. Look at the stall. Tell you, we've got to find the bus. Whoever did this. I'm pretty certain the person who did it to my store, did it to your store also. They used the lock cutter and went for the ingredients first. It's literally the same. Vincent is in lockup, right? How can be him? But why us? What did we do to deserve this? Chandra, don't worry. You get through this. How? I don't even know how to start. How to start? How to start, Chandra? You start with the help of your khakis, lah. Aisha, we have some spare pots, kan? Yes, I'll bring them over so you can start cooking today. Mm. Larry, I need to borrow your towels and mops. No problem. Uh, Rani, why don't you go to the market and get some more ingredients so that Chandra can start cooking? We'll help you take care of the store. Let's do this, Ken! Yes, I'll prepare coffee for you also. Yes, that's the spirit. One, two, and circle. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Yeah. No, it's good to have you back. Oh, look at what we've done. Oh. The end is still so far away. But we take the road day by day. And we keep on running. Uh, 大姐, it's okay, just give it to them. Okay. Ni yu hua shuo to shuo ba. Pao pao cha de dian bei zha. Ha. Da jiao du ren ding shi Vincent zuo de. Bao guo ni zai ni. Shi la shi la. Xian ni gao xing la. Bu shi ni xing lai de xiong di zuo de. Dan shi a. Zhe bu biao shi ta shi qing bai de. 自从他来了之后 One Two Is A Girl 就有那么多东西不见 Aisha的钱 还有啊,你的handphone 你认为都是Vincent干的 Chandra怎么样? At the rate we're going with everyone helping We should be able to have it cleaned up before tonight Mm. Arun is just worried about the money that he's going to lose. Which reminds me, I transferred your store's accounts into my computer last night. Because it's about time that you stop calculating your profits based on the number of coffee powder tins you sell. Look at these figures. You're ordering more coffee than we need. When the excess coffee expires, it's money down the drain. Based on this calculation, you're losing about $125 every month. Oh, so much. Can you show me? 
Larry? Very good. I'm so proud of you. What happened to the Indian store? Sang, you come for what? Larry, just relax. I'm here just for a cup of kopi. Huh? Kopi. Huh? <laughs> So far, it's not really. Kak Nuru helped us. Kak Nuru is back. Hey, bro. I need to talk to you about the e-flyers and vouchers. What e flyer and vouchers? You guys helped Alicia, right, when her store got hit? You got your marketing team to do some e-flyer, give out some discount vouchers. You'll be doing the same for us, right? Sorry, I cannot. Why? Why cannot? No budget. Last time was only one time. How I know next time another store will get inventorized? Bro, you know how bullshit that sounds, right? Ikai, how come that new girl gets special treatment and we don't? It's not special treatment, Uncle Chandra. How is it not a special treatment? Her stall get vandalized, my stall is vandalized. She Let gets me special promotion, vouchers, flyers, and we don't. How can? Just admit it, you don't care about us. You think I don't care about you? I know you don't care. If I don't care about you, for why I fight so hard for you guys? I fight for the influencer. Fight for what us? I call it, they don't want. Rubbish, you Kai. You I'm have trying changed. to stop the rest of the increase. Nice shirt, nice shoes. I even fight for the new store out here for you guys. He wanted to replace all of you guys. Bring the new store. They wanted to replace us? Uh, Arun. Uh, Uncle Tantra. Just go away. Go. We have cleaning to do. Get ya. Gather all of them. We need to talk. Drinking his coffee and smiling. It's very creepy. He wants something, but don't know what. You should ask him. Why is my yellow chair? I'm now going to the Guoji Chan Zhuang event. He called us one by one. But you can't ask him to ask Audrey. Why don't you ask him? What do you want? Larry, I just told you I'm here for the kopi. So, now your coffee already finished. Let's go somewhere else and talk. Hmm? Where to? Here, not convenient. Huh? You'll be interested to know what I'm going to tell you. Guaranteed. Hmm? Thank you all for coming. Today I want to talk to you all about something which will affect the whole of this hawker centre. Pa, just get on with it. Don't be so dramatic.
What happened to the Indian store? Somebody vandalized it. Just like they did Alicia's. That's why they suddenly let me go. <laughs> they let me go because obviously I couldn't be the one that vandalized the store while I was in lockup. Ming, you see? I didn't do anything. I can come back and help. Later? Today? Hey, hey, Sing! 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 What are you trying to do, Sing? Sing! I said, stop it! What are you trying to do, Sing? You want to fight me? Come, I'll wait for you. I'll fight with you! Larry, I'm not trying to one on one with you, okay? I just got something to ask you. Do you like the way I take care of your rival? What do you mean? <laughs> nah, Papa Cha the Xiao Xian Yu Long. Your business got better and she got to close for a few days, right? You are the one who did it. Kai, this isn't going to work out. What do you mean? I'm innocent. I didn't do anything. Right. You're innocent. You didn't do anything. Ming, I know I've been a shitty brother. I even had time to think about it while I was in lockup. Good for you. But this isn't about the past. It's about me working here at the stall. Exactly. This is about you working here at the stall. Which, by the way, isn't my stall. Sherry gave you a chance. But it gave her nothing but trouble. That's not this fair. This is about the kind of trouble you eventually create for Hot Diggity Dog if I let you stay on. I think you better go. We don't have to say a word, you can fall on me too. Fall on you. I can be your shoulder to cry. Okay, Vincent, if you're back again to cause problems, I can't. Not today. I have something for you. Ever since the new stalls came in, there has been nothing but trouble. And we have that fellow, Lee Rafik, chopping the hawker centre with his menus and copying our dishes. Not forgetting, he stole my assistant and my kua recipe. And that Alicia girl. Not enough that she sell tea. Suddenly, she also sell kopi. She's trying to take our place. Yeah, she is taking your place. In fact, they're all trying to take our place. Because that's what Ika and the one to wants them to do. Really? Are you sure? Uh, Arun, maybe you and Appa misunderstood what he... No, no way, Ma. Ika told this straight to our face. I swear. That explains why Ika is always on their side. Now I know why Alicia sells Kopi. She said it's Yikai idea. I don't know about you, but my stall did not survive 30 plus years and COVID to be replaced. We have to do something about it. Hey, you think they're talking about us? I bet you why Mirabos they're talking about us. This speaker is not as good as the last speaker. Not as expensive, but still can play music. Um, thanks, I guess. I, I mean, I'm, I'm appreciative. I'm sorry I lost my temper at you. But I swear, I didn't vandalize your stall. Yeah, I can see that. Sing, how can you do this? Larry, I told you, I'll take care of you. Take care of your rival. This is my promise, old man. But saying, Chandra is my friend. How can you go and... Ah, the Indian food store. 
That's to teach him a lesson for fighting with my men. Huh? Saying, why are you doing this? You got a proper job, right? Like, a uh, proper job? Uh? You mean the SPE? Yeah. They fired me. Huh? They said I took too many breaks. And then now? No mask, no safe distancing, no safety protocol. Huh? to look for a job. Many jobs. But nobody wants to hire me. What to do? I will say. If you're looking for a job, you can come and look for me. Maybe yes. I can... You have your own problem. Huh? Larry, I got no choice. I can make money only one way. And this way is my way. Sing what you want. Look at them. It's the way Chandra's dog just got vandalised this morning and everyone chipped in and now it's back to normal. When my store got vandalised, where was the one to eight circle spirit? I had to clean everything up myself, eh? When people don't want to help, you cannot force them. Anyway, I'll go now. I'll go? Where? Back to Eaton's? No. He doesn't want me back. Oh. Yeah. Um. Okay, I, I would like to apologise because I'm pretty certain it's because of me. Okay, but if it's you ever need fault. help, I'm down. Like, I owe you a big one. Maybe you can really help me. What do you propose we do? We do our own promotional campaign. If we can prove that we can attract business, it gives us more bargaining power with the management. And if we don't do this, they will do something to finish us off. And they will replace us with more youngsters. Mark my words. Carol, Larry has a friend called Tanya. Uh, she works for a magazine and she used to write and she used to help us too. Can you ask him to talk to her? I can do some social media marketing. I've been taking online course. Steady. They want to come at us, we will fight back. If they're really planning something. And they are looking for a fight, then we will give them a fight. What if you hired me?